everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about 5 skincare mistakes that I have totally totally committed plus I regret committing them a lot and these are the skincare mistakes that you should totally totally not do. So let's directly get started with this. Also this video is going to be helpful so I am definitely sure that you will definitely have something to take away from this. So let's get started. So, the skincare mistake number one is trying out every single product that your favorite influencer or blogger is using it. Okay, it's really good and it's really satisfying to see all those routines and it's really the way they um, show the products and all of that. It sort of provokes the viewer that you know, I feel that I should buy this product, what if this product works for me and this and that. Okay, that is really a good thought but on the other side of the story that you need to understand what is her skin type first? Why is she using this particular product? What is her age and what is your age? And what are the skin concerns that she has? And are the same, uh, are those skin concerns similar to your skin concerns or not? Okay, so there are too many things that need to be taken into consideration and unless and until you don't have clarity about all these things, do not just buy the product just because one particular person is using it and she turns out to be your favorite. So stop doing that mistake. I did that and I, I would follow this one blog, I'm not going to name her. And I bought these three products that she recommended and uh, we both shared a similar skin type but the product did not suit me. And then later on I realized that there were some ingredients in the product that were not meant for my skin type and that were meant for her specific skin type. So stop doing this mistake. So the second skincare mistake that you're definitely committing is skipping your morning or night routine. Why are you doing that? Okay, so the first possible reason is because the routine is about 15 to 20 minutes long and just the thought that I have to do a routine which is so long bores me and then I just skipped. Yeah, because that's good now, 15 minutes apply this, apply that. Oh my god, it's so exhausting. Or the second possible reason is you're just lazy. Okay, even I have been lazy but now I'm not. So you should not really do it. Um, now if you do have such a long routine or something like that, you need to figure out that what products you do need on your daily basis. And if these are the amount of products that you actually use on a daily basis, cut out the unwanted products and just figure out that okay, these are the three products that I need and apply them on a daily basis so this will ensure that you follow your routine plus you do not skip it plus you have good skin so my morning routine is something like i go for a shower wash my face scrub my face uh thrice thrice three to four times in a week um come out of the shower mix my moisturizer plus sunscreen apply it all over my face apply a lip balm and i am done so this doesn't exhaust me or bore me and plus it's very quick so you can do something like that the third skincare mistake we all do it's not like a skincare mistake it's sort of like this guilty pleasure that every woman does indulge into is popping your pimple or acne now i know it's it's this really nice satisfying thing to go in front of the mirror and just do something like this and oops that's popped out and you're like completely happy about it but the negative side to this story is that you get these post acne marks which take about a month to month and a half to completely wipe off from your uh, face from your skin and by the time that goes off you already have four more and you don't really realize something like this until and unless it's completely visible onto your face so this is something which i did and i turned my super good crystal clear skin into skin that has too many post acne marks and um, one is because of this and second I do have a lot of hormonal issues as well so there are like two solid reasons to it so what I would recommend is that do not pop those pimples uh, one thing that you can do is you can apply some patches those Dr. Palmer patches that come I will leave a link in the description just in case you want to check it out and understand what I'm talking about or uh, the second product now this is a dermat recommended product which I would very very highly tell every single person to use it and this is good and safe for every single age group as well this is clear gel as you can see right here now this is something that you need to apply onto your pimple or acne at night before going to sleep okay just take a little bit apply it onto the 
acne and next morning when you wake up just wash your face with normal water or normal face wash whatever you do and apply it for like 2 to 3 nights and after 2 to 3 nights what's gonna happen is it's either gonna dry off or it's gonna settle down and it's going to avoid uh, other pimples and acne to come so this really helped me uh, previously when I had too much I will try to find an older photograph of mine and put it somewhere right here and it really really saved my life in a lot of good ways now even if I get anything I just apply and in about two nights my pimples and acne do go off and sometimes I just scratch in my sleep and burst it which is a very bad habit but yeah you should definitely go for this this will really really help you out the fourth skincare mistake that you do is not knowing your skin properly everybody claims that they do know their skin properly but you can be 100% right in that or you can be 100% or 200% wrong in it you need to have some definite answers to most basic questions like what is your skin type my skin type is oily, acne prone and super sensitive I am completely sure of this second is what are your skin concerns my skin concerns are I have too many uh, post acne marks and all of that situation to which I really need to work on and I just need to get rid of those and ensure that I do not get new acne um, externally I have maintained a good lifestyle the solid possible reason that I have got to know from the doctor is because of the hormonal changes that I am going through a lot now the third definite answer that you must have is what are the skin uh, what are the products that your skin actually needs now for me is that currently because summers are going on I definitely apply a sunscreen this is something I do not miss now the moisturizer with it that I apply is the one by simple this has really really worked for me this does not break me out and all of that so I mix both of the two and apply it onto my face now when I have to uh, go in winters I will not apply this simple moisturizer because my skin becomes extremely dry and this doesn't work for me that well whereas some other product works for me so that way you need to understand that what your skin actually needs and what and how much can you actually invest even monetary wise so once you have a definite answer to these things you can be sure that okay yes i do know my skin properly and perfectly and it's neat as well another skincare mistake i feel this is the last one that i'm talking about this is the fifth one is skipping your moisturizer or sunscreen just because you're at home now i know that you i mean currently that you've been at home and nobody's there to see us and all of that stuff it's really cool to just let it go and all of that i would recommend don't do it okay if you don't want to apply just sort of force yourself just say that okay if i apply today in the long term it's going to benefit my skin and something like that so just apply it okay just apply a moisturizer or sunscreen anything works for you just apply don't leave your skin naked because when you leave it completely naked bacteria is going to come inside and it's going to spoil your skin so try not to skip your moisturizer and sunscreen while you're at home this is an extra tip slash again another skincare mistake that i'm telling you that you definitely do is applying too many products onto your skin or masking way 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 too much in a way instagram and youtube are supposed to be blamed because um, they sort of provoke you that you need so many products when in reality you don't really need it okay and if you feel that you need some hyaluronic acid or you need some glycolic acid or you need this toner or that fancy product understand why do you need it you need to do like solid research on every product and then buy it please do this this is really going to benefit you in the long term plus it's not going to spoil the quality of your skin i have done this i have bought products without having proper quality information about them and i have ruined my skin very very badly i will say i had a crystal clear skin which never broke out or which never had any issues and today i have too many issues with it and i have to be very very careful about every single thing that i do so please please take this into consideration I'm just gonna tell you that if you really want to follow a skincare guru which who will tell you honest things about every single product the positives, the negatives if you need it, you don't need it why you need it and all of that stuff the only one person I will tell you is to follow Shreya Jain I will leave her YouTube channel in the description she is a really good not even good is not the term she's someone who is brutally honest about every single thing she has an extremely dry skin sahara dry skin as she always calls it 
and I have bought quite a few products that she's recommended for oily acne prone skin and they have actually worked really really good for me so I would very highly recommend you to follow her if you're someone who is in the oily slash acne prone skin type uh, the second person to follow I will tell you is Stacey Castana I follow both of these very religiously and the product reviews that they give and the type of things that they tell the, the specific product will do and will not do I have bought from both of their recommendations and till today I have bought about 6 to 7 products uh, dono ka reviews milake and none, like not even one single penny of mine has been wasted and I am completely happy that I trust them and because I trust them blindly I will also tell you to do again at the end it's your decision if you want to do it or no so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you definitely had something to take away from please let me know in the comment section down below as to what you think about it and I'll see you next time bye